In a fun new photo, two Sabine Wren cosplayers meet the Ahsoka star who brought the character to life in live action, Natasha Liu Bordizo. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, please subscribe and keep watching for more details. Two Sabine Wren cosplayers met Ahsoka star Natasha Liu Bordizo at Los Angeles Comic Con 2023. In the Ahsoka final, Sabin unlocks her connection to the Force and may continue to learn more about it while stuck on the planet Paradia. Sabine may struggle with the dark side on Paradia, as some Jedi are more susceptible, and Ahsoka will need to watch over her closely. In a fun new photo, two Sabine Ren cosplayers meet the Ahsoka star herself, Natasha Liu Bordizzo. Ahsoka brought many animated characters into live action for the first time. Ezra Bridger, Hira Sindulla, and more made their live action debuts in the Disney Plus show. However, most prominent of all was the Mandalorian Sabine Wren, who surprised everyone by becoming Ahsoka Tano's Jedi apprentice, fighting tooth and nail to bring Ezra back home where he belongs. Sabine has a promising, albeit uncertain, future ahead of her in Star Wars. It's no wonder she has inspired so much impressive cosplay and fan art. Two such cosplayers recently got to meet Bordizzo at Los Angeles Comic Con 2023. Mother daughter duo Elizabeth La and Lily Koi cosplay each transformed into a version of Sabine from the Ahsoka show. Lily Koi cosplay was dressed as Sabine when she was on Luthal and Ahsoka came to meet her for the first time. While Elizabeth Law transformed into the Mandalorian warrior determined to find her friend. Meeting Bordizzo while dressed as their favorite character must have been a dream come true. In the Ahsoka final, Sabin finally unlocks her connection to the Force, using it to ensure Ezra Bridger's safety and help Ahsoka Tano fight off Thrawn's remaining night troopers. Now the pair is stuck on the planet Paradia in another galaxy. While they'll undoubtedly be hoping to find a way home, Sabin may also continue to learn more about the Force while they're stuck there. Paradia seems to be closely connected to the Force. The Great Mothers of the Night Sisters wield the dark side of the Force as magic, and Balin Skull discovered the statues of the Mortis gods, too. Three godlike beings that represent the light side, the dark side, and the balance in between. Sabine's connection to the Force might only become stronger the longer she stays on Paradia. Sabine may also come to struggle with the dark side while there. Balin Skull felt a dark power call into him on the desolate planet, and some Jedi are more susceptible to the dark side than others. Sabine, as a Mandalorian, is stubborn but also highly driven. She has let her emotions and grief guide her in the past like when she gave Balon the map to Paradia instead of destroying it because of her desperation to find Ezra. Ahsoka may need to keep a close eye on her apprentice as they navigate their new reality together after the events of the Ahsoka season one final. 